So originally this was supposed to come out on Wednesday, but then I got lazy as always. So today I'm officially reviewing the new Disney Plus original movie, Magic Camp, which stars Adam Devine. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts. So the new Disney Plus original movie, Magic Camp, stars uh, Adam Devine, Jeffrey Tamor, and Jillian Jacobs. And it's all about uh, Andy, Andy's, Andy Dunkerman, who was played by Adam Devine. Uh, and it's, he's a former magician, and he gets recruited by uh, Jeffrey Tamor's character, who runs the camp, Mad, who runs the camp, and wants him to be a counselor, because apparently David Blaine couldn't make it this year, so... So that, I thought that was pretty funny how David Blaine was a former student from that, from that camp. So, and he decides to take up on his offer and go uh, mentor these up and coming magicians. So in these reviews, I don't really focus on the characters as much, but I'm gonna focus on I think the main kid in this movie, which is named Theo, and he's a kid who's really into magic. He's his dad taught him everything he knows. Now sadly, his dad died, and it's just him, his mom, and his younger brother. So, and he gets this uh, invite to the camp. And it was kind of cool how it was like a, one of those things you see at like those award shows where you pull the envelope out and stuff, but you open it up and then you turn a page. Oh, it's like this little like video thing that you get for like your cars, like little TV. And it's Jeffrey Tamor's character basically uh, telling him, uh, you know, come to this camp if you want to learn how to be a real magician and, you know, one day kind of go all over the world or, you know, Vegas and perform and become the best magician you could ever be. And um, basically, at first he's kind of having second thoughts, like, I don't know if I should do it, but then he believes that his dad uh, uh, did this for him and getting him to get into that camp and decides to do it and fulfill his dream of wanting to become a magician. So Jillian Jacobs' arri character arrives at the camp and it's funny because she's the famous magician, like out of, uh, the counselors, I mean, they're all they're all famous magicians, except for Andy, who of course is not a famous magician anymore. But you know, he arrives, and you know, Andy Dev Andy Devine does this thing where he's like, you know, Andy Dunkerman is back, baby, and instead they all run towards Jillian's character because she's the more popular, more successful magician. And as it, and we find out later in the movie, she was his former assistant or partner in a way. Uh, but then I think, cause I'm trying to remember, because it's been a just a few days since I watched it for the third time, just to make sure I could do a good review on it. Uh, I think it was, she became, someone discovered her, she became famous, and then he was just an afterthought and decided, well, I'll just start driving a cab and make money. And he basically is lying to her for most of the movie saying, oh yeah, I'm playing sold out shows and stuff and you know, making money from important people, yeah, it's nothing. But that's what she's doing, he's not, he's just driving a cab. So he's all getting all feisty with her and making it like a real competition, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna beat you just like all those other years in college, uh, in, in camp, well, college really. And she she's kind of like, okay, I'm here for the kids, not for this, so, you know. So at first it's a competition to him, but then later on as we go through the movie, he then starts looking at it more as you know what, I should mentor these kids. Like, listen, I am not living the dream, but you know what, that doesn't mean they shouldn't be able, that doesn't mean I shouldn't stop them from, you know, meeting expectations and, you know, fulfilling their dreams. So, so as we go on to the movie, they go into this big auditorium where Jeffrey Tamor introduces himself. Sorry, Mitchie, I don't know why. But um, they all get assigned to their uh, cabins. So they take a card out and, sh and it shows you know, basically uh, what, you know, team they're going to be and what cabin they're in. And Andy basically gets all the newbies and one of them, of course, being Theo. So this movie, in a way, is all about Andy becoming a mentor to Theo and helping him meet his full potential. And instead of being this, you know, grouchy guy who is driving a cab and is mad at himself for not fulfilling his dreams, you know, changes. And that's what I like most about this movie. I will say you will probably like this movie because of the kids that are in his in his cabin, because they all have such different personalities. And that's what I like most about movies is when, you know, whether it's Goonies, Sandlot, 
you know, any movie that deals with kids, they have such great per different personalities, and that's what makes it such an entertaining movie. Because for the most part, this movie was fine. It wasn't great, but the high point for me was definitely those kids, who were definitely cast perfectly for their for the roles. You know, one girl loves bunnies, another girl is kind of gothic, but she's into dresses and kind of maybe changing her look a bit. Uh, what else? Yeah, the one boy likes, uh, instead of magic, like, because his dad's a famous magician, I forgot. One of the kids is the son of a famous magician, so, but he's more interested in designing, you know, costumes and stuff, so, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, all the other kids, and then the one kid has, like, algae problems, like many. But he's very intelligent, so he kind of uses numbers as part of his act, as we'll find out later when it comes to the big competition at the end of the summer, which is them taking one trick that they learned. It's a really big trick, and because that's what ends up happening is Andy decides to teach him that way. And it's because of Theo that he decides to do this, which is see what their strength is and decides to help them use that strength, whether it's numbers, design, uh bunnies or just a simple card trick and see what they're good at to then apply to their act and make them a really good magician so there are some funny scenes where it is almost like a competition like each of them are playing pranks on each other and stuff um but yeah and then you know you have, you have the typical bully in the camp but it's just one dude it's just one dude and he's all cocky like oh yeah i'm gonna win the whole thing again you know or win it for the first time i forgot, I forgot if you ever won it before i think he did uh, i think because the thing is with this is the team gets wins the top hat but then only one of the students wins is the golden um wand i think it, i think it was it was which the character of andy won three times as i mentioned prior before and you know really cocky and stuff mean to theo but then theo kind of overcomes that and shows him oh i see what you did with your trick there and then, you know but then sadly because he had these cards that his dad gave him and the idiotic bully kind of lights him on fire and kind of invigorates anger from Theo. But then this is what I love about bullies in movies is when they have that redeeming moment. And he has one at the very end where he kind of, you know, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And like, yo, can't wait to see you again next year. You know? And, you know, that stuff. So I'm very itchy today. I don't know why. So you see all the relationships grow in this movie with Andy and his uh, students. And it's, it's just really fun watching it. I mean... If you just are looking for something to laugh, this will make you laugh, hopefully. You know, for most of us who have who uh, like humor. But uh, but yeah, that it was a overall. I would say it was a, it was a fun movie, not a great movie, but a fun movie. And because those kids were obviously, like I said, the number one thing that's great about this movie is those kids with the different you know personalities and stuff. So I I would say it was definitely cast uh, very well. So Andy's team, I think, won the top hat. And then this girl that Theo ended up crushing on, who I think they ended up together, um, uh, she ended up winning the golden uh, wand. And I'll say the tricks were pretty good in this movie. But obviously, they're not, they're, obviously, they're not going for David Blaine Spectacular. No, it's more like little tricks and stuff. But uh, but, I, but again, it was, it was a lot of fun to watch. And then in the end, Andy becomes kind of the guy running the camp. I think with Jeffrey Tamor's character. And that's how the movie ends. He ends up, instead of, well, actually he was offered this gig in Vegas and was there, but then decided to leave because he, it just didn't sit right with him being there. And he, he just felt like, you know what? These kids have definitely changed me. I'm gonna stay here from now on and mentor them. So, so he ends up becoming uh, not just a counselor, but someone who helps run the camp. And, uh, but yeah, overall, pretty fun movie. Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked this review. I'll be doing plenty more of these pretty soon, but not just from Disney. I'll try to do Netflix and, you know, from other streaming services or eventually when we go back to the theater, hopefully, hopefully it'll be soon. I know some are opening up in various states. I think here in Florida, our local theater chain is opening up, so that's really cool. But uh, I hope you all will uh, get people talking about this channel and I'll do more reviews. Uh, still planning some more Lego movies down the line and uh yeah so again subscribe hit notifications button do all that sort of stuff like the video comment down below and uh thanks for watching